Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Alex Stewart, who is Minister at Maryborough and Kilernan Free Church of Scotland. <clears throat> Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. From time to time, I get asked the question, what do I do for a living? And uh, on one occasion, uh, I was having my hair cut and after a while chatting with the, the barber, he said to me, so what do you do for a living? And I told him uh, I was a minister of the gospel. And he replied to me, that's all right for you, uh, working one day a week. Uh, if only it was um, just one day a week. I guess as um, politicians, you experience similar things. What good do politicians do? line their own pockets, that's all, that sort of thing. When I was um, training for the ministry, I often thought about the responsibility and burden of ministry because I believed I stood uh, accountable before the Lord. Therefore, on many still nights, I would say to God, Lord, I can't do this. I still pray that prayer and thank him for the help that he's given me over the years. As politicians, you bear great burdens and responsibility on your shoulders. The decisions you make or don't make have a direct impact on the people of this land, the people you represent, those who elected you. With great privileges and accountability, you stand before the people, and I believe God who has called you. Jesus also was a man who carried many burdens and responsibilities on his shoulders. Of him, the prophet Isaiah said, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Jesus himself made an outstanding promise to all who were burdened. And I want to share it with you. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is, I believe, a promise for all you serving in this chamber. As those with great responsibilities and burdens for our nation, please be assured that the Church of Christ prays for you that God will grant you wisdom and courage to lead and to do that which is right and good. May you know that rest for your souls which Jesus spoke of. Thank you. <clears throat> 